Max taking a piss by the railroad tracks, yeah. Good morning, Mr. Max. I uh, slept it uh, after talking to the historian last night. I slept at the Caribou campground where apparently I got uh, ravaged by mosquitoes throughout the night. They must have found a spot on my nose and just went to town, so that was delightful. But that was uh, the only tre mal, the only bad part about uh, being there. Um, cool. We uh, we ended up last night meeting a couple who were out of Halifax, and they invited me over to their fire, so we took them up on it and ended up having a fire with them throughout the night, which was amazing. They just got a bunch of driftwood and kind of brought it up to their site. And it was so cool being able to talk with them throughout the night, probably two and a half hours of just sitting by the campfire and chatting. Their names were uh, Greg and I want to say Julia, but that is not her name, and it's killing me. Jamie is her name, and so, um, yeah, it was an amazing sight art. The campground where me and Max were was like tucked in, it was probably a, uh, I'd say, 200 meter hike to our campground, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so incredible, and almost, um, deserted kind of but it was really cool and so we ended up this morning crossing into Cape Breton Island where we are currently um, and I just took this little turnout to make a short little uh, film a flick a uh, petit ooh, quel est -ce? That looks totally edible to me, I tell ya what. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'll just have the one for now, and if I start getting sick, I'll know not to eat more. Well, they're everywhere. Cool. But why are some of them black? Let's try the black ones. Oh, they feel riper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Black is best. Okay, anyway. Um, <clears throat> I decided to stop here because well, it was like a little pullout and there was a lighthouse and it was pretty neato spaghetto. And uh, <clears throat> we are now by the ocean. So last night where we were staying, there was uh, like a really cool spot that was right on the coast, right close to it. And uh, our campground was amazing. It was all tucked in on the side of, by the shoreline and it just looked so so freaking peaceful and amazing and uh, oh that smell um, I'm gonna try and cover up the mic but yeah c'est là de Cape Breton Cape Breton Island uh, gorgeous cannot be beat <laughs> the smell salt water oh I miss that I'm gonna try it's a little windy today so I'm gonna try and cover up the uh, microphone so wind isn't blowing into it but say très difficile What kind of bird that is but there's a bird on that post and it's a big it's a honker she's a big one eh? 
But yeah, we are continuing on and I am about to reach my aunt's house about two hours away from here, so uh, should be good driving. I'm very excited for such <laughs> and uh, gonna have a good day. Love you, take care, and uh, greetings from Cape Breton Island. Mwah.